Hello. Today we're going to discuss field stripping the uh, Heckler & Cope HK91 uh, G3 308 battle type rifle. It's a pretty simple procedure and we'll get started right now. First thing that you want to do with the rifle is of course remove the magazine. Check the chamber. Make sure there's no cartridges in the weapon. Set the rifle to safe. Then we want to remove the sling. This is a three point combat sling. And you simply unhook it from the eye loop at the front. Pull it off the extender clip on the back of the fore. Pull it away. That will free the sling. Next step we want to do is to push out the two retainer pins at the back of the rifle, buttstock. Push these out, place them into the holders on the buttstock itself. I'll keep you from losing them. Next step is we want to remove the buttstock, and this is done by just tapping down on the top cone of the buttstock until it comes free from the back of the, the uh, rifle receiver. Go ahead and pull that clear, set it aside. Next step is to remove the trigger group, and that's simply removed by pulling straight down on it. Now on the semi-automatic rifles, this is not attached to the receiver, and it will, will pull completely free. On the selective fire versions, the trigger group is attached by a third cross pin, and will just simply hinge down at that point. They also feature a paddle release for the magazine, uh, which the semi-automatics do not have. They just use a, a push button. You, some of you may have seen butt stocks for the HK91. They have a third hole up here, and I've, I've heard people ask, well, what's that third hole for? It's for the retainer pin for the uh, select fire trigger group, if, you, if somebody wishes to remove that time of field strip. Alright, moving along, next thing we want to do is pull the bolt assembly out, pull the cocking handle to release it, tilt back on the receiver, and let the bolt assembly come out of the receiver of the rifle. Push the cocking handle forward. This, will, this completes the field strip for the basic rifle into its four subsections, five subsections, counting the magazine. Rifle can be cleaned from the breech or the muzzle. I prefer to clean from the breech or the barrel. Die assembling the bolt. What you want to do here is take the bolt, turn it. If you're looking from the back, you'll be turning clockwise. If you're looking from the front, you'll be turning uh, counterclockwise. Turn it 90 degrees. Pull it straight forward off the uh, locking piece. Then remove the locking piece, turn it until the lug clears at the top, 12 o'clock position on the back of the carrier. And this can be pulled free. The locking piece will come out along with the firing pin and the firing pin spring. And this is the set of, of die assembly you need to go with the, these HK rifles. It's not really necessary to take it down any further. Trigger group can be cleaned with a rag, brushes, solvent. Pretty easy to do. It's not necessary to take it apart to clean it. Light drip of oil down in there, some grease on the top of the hammer works fine for lubrication. Reassembling the rifle, starting with the bolt carrier group. Take the firing pin spring and the firing pin. Slide the spring onto the firing pin. Take the locking piece and slide it down. <coughs> There's this little lug right here on the locking piece. And you want to have that oriented at the 12 o'clock or top position. 
in the bolt carrier right here. Go ahead and slide that in like so. Press back until it clears into the slot. Turn it 90 degrees. So it's basically horizontal. You're turning it clockwise while looking at it from the front. Okay, and assemble the bolt. Take the bolt itself with the bottom slotted area. There's also a mill depression on the end of the bolt right here for clearance. Face that bolt, slot to the back, of course firing pin and bolt head to the front, extractor. Face this so that that slot is at the 12 o'clock position and slide it down. Now in order to clear, there's an extractor or ejector right here and you need to get past that, that part. Just take it, press down and turn a little bit. There you go. Okay. Now when it gets all the way, okay, press down until the uh, bolt contacts the back of the bolt carrier and the locking lug. And you'll notice that the rollers are out at this point. If you simply push in on them a little bit and then turn, keep turning. There go. Now you notice the locking, uh, the bolt rollers are out in this position because I pushed down too far and you'll notice the bolt won't go in like that. In order to clear this, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is take the bolt, assembly and carrier, insert it backwards into the action like so, and then just give it a wrap. And that'll force the bolt rollers back into the uh, recesses on the bolt at that point. You can reassemble the bolt and carry her back into the upper receiver. And then of course you want to add your trigger group. These are generally press in and up on the uh, select fire version that you just generally have to lift up on. There we go. Get that flush. Recoil spring and rod. Make sure that they enter the uh, there's a the back portion of the bolt carrier. Slide into place. Then you want to make sure that the flanges on the part on the uh, butt stock align with the upper receiver, like so. If they're aligned correctly, it'll slide on pretty easy. Give it a couple taps. Insert your retainer pins. Like so. Next we want to reinstall our mag or uh, sling assembly. And to do that, you simply take the forward opening on the center uh, swivel, set it down against the uh, the extension clip on the rear of the forearm and just press straight back on it so that the bar contacts with the slot with the uh, clip like so and then the front is simply clipped onto the eyelet Like so. Insert the magazine. This is done by taking the magazine at an angle like so, pushing it up into the well and rocking back at the same time. Like that until it clicks shut. Do a function check. It's okay to dry fire these, by the way. Safety 
And there you go. That's field stripping on the HK91 G3 type rifle. Thank you for watching.